I'm going to do a complete reading of your flesh because um, it was really nasty. It had a lot of buildup inside um, from the old coolant. So I'm going to um, completely flush out the system. This is optional, but I'm going to use the, um, the flushing cleaner for, for the cooling system. And uh, if you don't want to use this, you can just do the basic flush, which is just distilled water. Remove the radiator cap. Clean up for the whole flush thing right here. If you did use the um, cleaner, the flush and cleaner for coolant, you add distilled water until it's full at the radiator neck. After the water has been filled up um, to the top, you're going to start the car and just leave the cap off so it can um, burp itself or bleed itself from air bubbles. When it gets low, you just fill it up with water again to the top. After the car has reached its um, operating temperature, which is um, usually in the middle, you're going to turn the heater on all the way to the hottest settings and turn up the fan all the way to the highest settings and let it run for another 10 minutes. You can see that it's getting near operating temperature. So now you're gonna turn it to the hottest settings and turn the heat all the way to hot. If there's no more air bubbles or uh, the water level's not decreasing as much and it's done, uh, you can put back the fuel the cap. All right, it's been 10 minutes, so I'm gonna turn off the car and let it cool for a bit. And then we're gonna drain the coolant. Remove the radiator cap. There's the wing nut right there for the drain plug. You're gonna remove that and let it drain out. Just wait for all the water or the cleaner and flush to drain out all the way. When it's done dripping, you're gonna put um, the drain plug back in. It's back in. Right, this time, if you use the flusher and the cleaner, um, which is optional, you're gonna have to drain it again with pure water. So now just add distilled water into the radiator. So you can do it one more time, but this time there's no cleaner. Because it's some cleaner and flushing fluid inside the engine and you need to get rid of it. Once you fill it up, you're going to start the car again for 10 minutes with the heater on the highest and the fan on the highest. So you're going to do another, another 10 minutes.